We all sat in amazement when we saw this gravity flyer lift. We all couldn't believe it. Did this guy really create anti-gravity? What was he trying to do when he made it? Is there something more here? Well, most people have a misunderstanding of this. They simply think that you build this, you spin the disc, and you put voltage in it. I can tell you, the understanding of this is way more complicated than that. So let's get into it a little bit and let's take a look at it and I'll do my best to demonstrate exactly what he was thinking and the process is going on here because it's really more than you ever thought it was. Let's go ahead and start at the beginning with this project. You built your gravity flyer. You found every part that you could that matched what Alexi did. You built everything. You 3D printed files and you put it all together. You tested out your motors and saw that everything was running properly. Counter rotation. Everything is in sync like it's supposed to be. You then bought every component you can think of that he put into this, including a flyback transformer, a ZBS driver, to make high voltage. With that finished, it's time to look at exactly what you built. You put everything into it you thought you knew. All the wires are connected here. Everything's starting to look good. We have our ultrasound disc in the top. We have our little tabs here to put in the high voltage on the disc. They're on the bottom as well. And all the wires are run through exactly the way Alexi did it. And without any understanding of the physics behind it, you ran this thing. And it just sat there. It spun and sat there. So what is it that you missed? You got every part. Was there something more to this? Well, let's understand the physics behind it and see exactly what Alexi saw and what he was thinking when he built it. He knew that by removing most of the amps from his flyback coil, he knew that he can get a static volt. So, he charged the plates with those static volts, and it created a toroidal on the top and the bottom. Then, he added a Tesla coil to create a field around the whole craft. As he turned on the ultrasound machine, it collapsed the top toroidal, taking all the positive charge from the disc on the top and placing it all on the bottom. However, it didn't stay positive as it was placed on the bottom. It all transferred into negative charges. Where the craft was once in balance, it now had an imbalance. This is how he created lift. But how did he break gravity? Let's take a look at the gravity flyer one more time. On the bottom, he put six magnets on there. On the top, he put no magnets. The magnets on the bottom created an eddy current that transferred into the center plate of the aluminum and also to the top disc. It made the motors go in sequence together. And because both discs had static charge on them, the motors would increase or decrease depending on where the charge was. The combination of all these effects would create a resonance in the center disc and allow the magnets to make a song. <laughs> Alexi had put six magnets on the bottom. It forms a honeycomb structure. And like any honeycomb structure, it creates resonance. Resonance was what he was using to break gravity. What Alexi had done was nothing short of genius. He actually figured out how to break gravity, how to make things lift when you break gravity. This has far more implications going on than a simple lifter. He's actually creating a structure to make a magnetosphere, far beyond what anyone else on this earth has come up with yet. As we see his gravity flyer lift, it should give us all hope. Hope that one day we can all figure this out. Hope that one day we can reach the level that he did already. This is our future. This is exactly what we should be looking for. 
Some people see this as a small little flying object. I see it as something far greater. Alexei has changed this world for the better, and we all owe him a debt of gratitude. If you like what you saw here today, please like, share, subscribe, do all those fun things, and have yourself a great day. Thank you.